So, so get back on the egg avoidance and get back on the soy avoidance. Okay. All right. Um, and then she talked to you about the OIT for peanut. Um, I think we talked a little bit about it last time when we brought, when Lauren did come in with that. So that would be, so we have now have our Cypress office open and quite ready to do all Wait that. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. So that might be an easier office for you to go to. Okay. Um, the bleach baths will help some because they always make the eczema control better. So the tri it's trimcinolone, right? Trimcinolone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, trimcinolone and aquaphor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How often is the aquaphor being done? Um, I think she just does it when he's itching or whatever. Like, I don't know if it's on a regular routine. I would do it on a regular routine. Okay. Whatever if that I think she was kind of weary about the steroid type cream, the triamcinolone, so that's not really going to... That's fine. Okay. The triamcinolone is fine. You don't have to do it every day. Unless you're seeing, like, dry itchy scaly skin, like, you're seeing the scaly red skin, you don't need to do the triamcinolone, okay? You need to do the triamcinolone when you're seeing those two things. Okay. But aquifer I would do every night okay. before he goes to bed. Put it all over, you okay. know. Uh, then you put the, the um, pajamas on. If you're still having a problem, you could literally uh, get some pajamas wet, wring them out, okay, put them on, and then put a second layer <laughs> on top, okay, have them on for a few hours, and you can take them back off because that actually can help. With, it's called like wet to dry. Okay. Okay. Uh, but it's literally, uh, it's wet dressing, Pinchy so it's the same cream. idea. Um, so like put the aqua four, then put the wet pajamas that are wrung out, and then put, but okay. Yeah, then. you can do that if it's okay. really bad. Okay. If it's not really bad, you don't have to do that. Um, let's see what else. Um, and then the OIT definitely will help with the peanut. The soy um, and egg, they wait till at least four or five. Okay, but the peanut would start as soon as you can because that's life threatening and you know, easily, easily fixed. It's a six month project in terms of going to the clinic, okay, and then you're good to go after that. You just do it on a daily basis and you see it every once in a while, okay. But they would explain it. Okay. Um, Dr. Schlegel's up in Cyprus, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. I actually personally trained her not only here about the OIT, but I trained her when she was in her fellowship, okay, um, when she was at UTMB. And I know she was wanting to know like what foods. How many foods did they test him for? And then does it show anything like how many? I don't remember the number that we tested for, but the number of positives we had was strawberry, um, egg, soy, and peanut. Okay, so all four of those, nothing like any, like reading the labels. You know, like I was telling her, like you got powdered donuts that are made with egg or whatever you do, you can't have none of that. Yeah, you gotta stop about the egg. Thing. Okay. Yeah. And then you probably will see his. Likely you'd see the eczema clear, clear up even more. I think it's more, as eczema seems a little bit better, it's more the itching all the time. Yeah, well, that could be just the yeah. <laughs> That could be the eczema. Okay. Just not oh, okay. fully manifested in a rash at that point, just showing some itching. So if he has the food and it has an allergy reaction, it could be the eczema or the itching from that? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Doctor T. Okay. Sister, let him get up there.